Hello, it's now 6.57 a.m. And this video, I don't think it's going to be that long. But some of y'all probably already know this. But I'm doing a quick video to talk about how um, religious narcissistic abusers, they all act like as if they think that they're fit for heaven, think that they're fit for the kingdom. In Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, apply to religious narcissistic abusers. And um, they are holier than thou. I mean, they act holier than thou. And they're wise in their own conceits. And, um, you know, they think they're higher or superior to other people. And they think that they're bigger and better than God. And they puff themselves up about being spiritually mature. And saved and sanctified and washed in the blood. And there's nobody can tell them about their sin but if they even they act like they have their own rules for you what sin is and stuff like that while they have a license to be a hypocrite and break their own rules but if you do something hypocritical they want the whole world to know and a lot of religious narcissistic abusers they become their own cult leaders and stuff like that. And, and a lot of times, it's either the narcissistic fake church pastor or the nar one of the narcissistic members. I mean, it's like if the narcissistic fake church pastor would elevate that member to be the favorite or if the fake church pastor is a narcissistic abuser, he or she, <coughs> excuse me, would do stuff like choose favoritism in the church and cause certain members to be jealous of each other, certain members of the congregation to be jealous of each other. And even the most loyal and the most high paying tither person who tithed the most Still, there's nothing they can do to buy the favoritism of a narcissistic fake church pastor that choose favoritism. But the person who has done nothing for the church, you wonder why they just praised in the favor for no reason. And they've done nothing to warrant or deserve, you know, well, in a good way. They've done nothing to, good to earn that title as a favorite. Um... When they just worship, and even in the secular world, they just worship and idolize for no reason as being the favorite in society, you know. So that was just something that was on my mind to talk about, and I still have not gotten any sleep. I tried to, but couldn't. So um, that's all I got to say for now. That's on my mind about this topic. Um, thanks for listening. Bye.